Good morning, friends, and welcome back. I wanted to show you what I did with this thrift store frame. You can see on the back there that I paid $1.99 for this. And I wanted to do something very different with the inside, or pretty different with the inside. So you can see the frame itself. It's really pretty. It's unique. And by the time I was done with it, here's what it looked like. It looks to me to be romantic and elegant and a little understated, which I like, and you're not going to believe how simple this project was. So the first thing that I did was I bought some of this paper. It's scrapbook paper that already has script on it. And I took my frame apart, took the glass out, and you know how you have that cardboard backing? I took my Americana decoupage glue and I'm using the matte glue for this because I'd like it to look kind of old-fashioned and weathered and I applied a nice thick coating of this over this whole surface and this is that piece that I mentioned I took out of the back of the frame so I covered it with the decoupage glue placed my scrapbook paper down as carefully as I could And here I'm just making sure that I press everything down firmly, making sure that I get those edges. And you really should use a hard brayer for this. I can't find mine, so I'm sorry I'm not using a brayer. But again, I'm going over these edges to make sure they're down securely. Now I'm taking an, taking an acrylic nail file and I'm going to go along these edges where I have the overlapping paper and just make a nice clean edge here. I'm filing in one direction. I'm pulling that nail file downward and sorry about that and I'm just going to go around all of the edges to make sure I have a nice clean edge. You can also use sandpaper for this or a sanding block. I just find that these nail files are so inexpensive. I have them all over the house and they're nice and firm. It's really uh, easy to file these edges off. Now while this was drying I put it aside and I wanted to add a bit of a coffee stain to it so I took from that morning a very strong cup of coffee and just put it aside and I used an old chip brush and I just placed the coffee down in certain areas all over I wanted some areas to be darker some to be lighter and it looked like there's a circle in this which I didn't want so I just ended up painting the whole thing with very strong coffee and leaving it there overnight so that it could just dry and I'd see what I came out with in the morning sorry there's no light there so here's how it looked the following morning and I'm going to put one more coat of the decoupage glue over the surface of this and let it dry. You can see it's a very subtle variation in the color there and that's caused by the coffee I left on there overnight. Okay now this is dry and you can see that I have the edges all filed away and now what I want to do is I want to take this key and by the way I will have links for as many of these products as I can down below the video but I wanted to put it in the center and add just one more touch to it so I took this wired black ribbon that I have and I tied it onto the key don't worry about how I'm tying it on here sometimes people write and say could you slow that down I want to see how you did that I'm not doing anything special here I'm just trying to make sure this stays on securely so I kind of looped it one way and then back around the other way and then I just made a bow as if I was tying my shoelaces or sneakers and once I made the bow I just wanted to fluff it up a little bit and here is the front of the bow but I want to put the glue on the back of the key so right here where this is sticking out these two points I'm going to add my glue and I'll have a link below for the right glue to use on this okay because you want to make sure this doesn't fall off now you can see I have the glue on here so I'm going to flip the key over and place it in the center and don't worry about the excess bow 
that we have there because I'm going to show you what I did with that too. So I'm just going to place this, but I'm going to put some heavy books on top of it so that it lays flat and it dries. So I waited a couple of hours and came back and removed the books. This is on here securely. And before I do anything with this excess ribbon, I'm first going to put the frame back together. And obviously we're not going to be using the glass. So I'm just going to attach everything back onto the back of this. And now I'm going to take my sponge brush that just happens to have this nice dowel on the end of it, the handle, and I'm going to wrap the excess ribbon around it a little tightly. And you could use a ballpoint pen for this, any round tool that you have that would work for you. Most of us have these sponge brushes on hand though, right? So I'm just going to put that on. I'm going to take the sponge brush out and then I'll play around with this ribbon a little bit. I'm going to pull it out. I'll fluff it in some areas, keep it a little more curled in others. And because it's a wired ribbon, it's going to stay in place perfectly. You can add a little dot of hot glue or Fabri-Tac if you'd like, but it's not necessary. And now here's how the finished project looks. But that's our project for the week, guys. I think it's pretty simple. Hopefully you find it pretty easy to do. And on the uh, elegant romantic side, you can use any type of background papers. I also considered I got as a gift one year from my mother several antique vintage looking pairs of scissors and I think I may do these with scissors because decoupage is what I do and scissors are a huge part of that so I think that would be really cute too. You can also use an old brooch or maybe a broken piece of jewelry or find that larger piece of jewelry that's really pretty but you haven't been able to wear it or fix it or what have you also glue it on here with this glue that I'll recommend in the links below. But in the meantime, my friends, that's our video for the week. I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe. I am trying to reach that 100,000 mark. If you share my videos on your Facebook page, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, wherever you can, that's a big help too, because I know most of you have already subscribed, and thank you so much for doing that. Upcycle with Decoupage is also on Facebook. If you go over and like and follow the page, Facebook will notify you every week when I put a new video out. You can also reach me a lot easier over there if you have questions or if you want to show me some of your work or projects. I love seeing that. So thanks a lot, my friends. I will see you next week with another video. Bye-bye.